we are ready to get underway here. It's been my privilege to welcome everyone to our final event, CPAC, while real conservatives are against the war on terror. I want to thank the people for, uh, with whom uh, otherwise this event would not have been possible. Campaign for Liberty staffers for putting it together. Also want to thank the Liber Ladies of Liberty Alliance. <laughs> and the Future of Freedom Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to believe the three days is already over, but this has been so packed with activities, it's gone by quickly. We started out the week, kicking it off with the Lincoln on Liberty friend or foe event, and I think we answered that question. <laughs> <laughs> then we followed it up, like I've been saying, with a Tom Woods event on nullification. So we nullified the idea that states could not stand up to federal government. And then if you miss the Liberty Forum Thursday night, you miss something special, because the judge and Ron just delivered great, great speeches on Thursday night. video up as soon as all of us wake up sometime in the middle of next week. We'll get that up on the website so everyone can see that in the question and answer session with Tom Woods. Then we moved to our events yesterday, panel participations, standing around, passing out lots and lots and lots of flyers to everyone. Our event last night was a great success with Gary Johnson and Tim Carney and Mike Church. Anybody that may be confused, if you are wondering if this is overflow for Duke Gingrich, then yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> or if you actually wanted to hear some real conservatism for a change, then you're exactly where you need to be. So just a warning, if you were actually trying to get to the new Gingrich event, you've got 30 seconds to vacate the room where you are locked in here with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I am excited about the event we have today. Our panel is going to include Karen Kwiatkowski, yeah. Jacob Horner, yeah. Phil Wallace, We are honored today to have as our moderator Kelly Torrance. She is the literary editor over at the American Conservative Magazine. <laughs> she is a native of Canada, actually, who moved here, I believe, about eight and a half years ago. Eight and a half years ago. So she brings an international perspective to this event as well. She's a former writer for the Washington Times, too. And I'll let her go ahead and get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Kelly Torrance. I don't know what to think, not about the war on terror or the global war on terror as it's sometimes known, but how conservatives feel about it. Uh, I read today that Ron Paul was the only speaker so far that has totally filled the room in which he was speaking and a lot of his supporters were turned away yesterday. Wow. At the same time, Mitt Romney, who everyone I talked to last night thinks is going to be the Republican candidate in 2012. <laughs> George W. Bush's record here at CPAC. Uh, when, when Dick Cheney made that schedule appearance, he came on to chance of run, Dick, run. Uh, but, run. Uh, and, and not in the way that some of you might have liked. Uh, but, 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 uh, but Dick Cheney doesn't need to run because uh, Mario Rubio, who's uh, consider Marco Rubio, sorry, is considered a rising star of the conservative movement, sounded exactly like him, saying that America must do whatever it takes for however long it takes to defeat radical Islamic terrorism. Uh, we talk about our But Barack Obama gives me hope. Not that he'd, <laughs> <laughs> not that he'd end the war. Uh, his liberal supporters might have been surprised, but I wasn't. Uh, I first came to DC as an intern in 1999 during the time of the Kosovo War. Uh, when I went back home to Vancouver, I went to anti-war protests, and the only people who were there were Serbians and communists. Uh, where were the liberals then? They, they were not uh, against war then. So I, it doesn't surprise me that both Republicans and Democrats have, are starting to support this war. Uh, and this is even, it seems like it's becoming Obama's war now. He's put his own stamp of ownership on it by changing its name. 
It's no longer Operation Iraqi Freedom. It's uh, Operation New Dawn. Uh, I, you know, he talked when he was campaigning, I'm sure you all remember talking about bringing the troops back home, but he's now said he's going to leave almost half of them there. There's about 115,000 troops in Iraq right now, he's going to leave 50,000. Um, now the war in Afghanistan started in 2001, Iraq 2003. That's, you know, almost 10 years now, but the debate still rages, and I think that's evidenced by how many people are in this room right now, despite the fact that, you know, rock star Newt New Gingrich is speaking across the way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now I'm not going to offer any arguments against the war, I'm going to let our speakers do that. Um, but I'd like to leave you with a few numbers. Uh, and the title of this uh, forum is called Why Real Conservatives Are Against the War on Terror. But I think these numbers should indicate why any human being should be against the war on terror. Uh, as, of, as of January this year, uh, 4,377 American troops have died as a result of the war in Iraq. 31,639 were injured, 20% of those serious injuries, we're talking brain and spinal injuries. Um, apparently, and, um, to me this is astounding, 30% of troops developed serious mental health problems within four months of returning from their duty. Uh, and that's not even talking about the Iraqi civilians who've been killed, and the numbers there, nobody knows. It's estimates have ranged from 50,000 to 600,000. Um, but I'll, I'll get to our panel now, who will, who will give you uh, even, even more reasons to be against it if you need them. Uh, first up is Phil Giraldi. He's a former CIA counterterrorism specialist and military intelligence officer. He's the current Francis Walsingham Fellow at the American Conservative Defense Alliance, and he's a frequent campaign for liberty contributor. Welcome to the <laughs> uh, I'll speak from here if that's all right. Um, to be honest, I was a little bit nervous when I received the invitation to would you rather? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous when I received the invitation to appear on this panel because I thought it might be some kind of trick <laughs> to get the four of us in the room at the uh, CPAC conference. Uh, there's certainly a lot of people who would like to do that for <laughs> nefarious reasons. But anyway, I'm delighted to be on this panel and to be with, with the distinguished people that you see in front of you and uh, I'm very interested in hearing your comments. Uh, Benjamin Franklin once observed that those who would trade their liberties for security will wind up losing both. James Madison stated that no nation can preserve freedom in the midst of perpetual warfare. There is something seriously wrong in America today because the elites from both political parties have forgotten about Franklin and Madison. I'm going to speak to you about security policies and the greatly exaggerated fear of terrorism that have driven much of both foreign and domestic policy since 9-11. 9-11 was undeniably a horrific experience for this nation, but it did not threaten the survival of our, Republican, or of our republic. Its perpetrators do not do so today. Only we can do that, and we are doing that, by overreacting to the danger and doing all the wrong things. We conservatives should demand commensurate and realistic responses to genuine foreign and domestic threats, but instead we have been given overkill, more bureaucracy, and lots of pork. Think, for example, of the government's creation of a no-fly list with one million names or a terrorist suspects list with nearly half a million entries. If there were even 1% that many people in the U.S. actually threatening terrorist acts, we would be experiencing waves of bombings in the streets, which tells you that both the lists and the process used to compile them were essentially bogus. 